Hello Stepper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's um, color with watercolor pencil, but not watercolor. And it's white on crumb cake. Well, I done this card here, stamp it with the black and then color and restamp it. Well, I wanted to try it with early espresso. So I started the coloring because I didn't want you to wait because it's a very simple card. So what I done for the leaves, I just scribble and I mean scribble some yellow of the watercolor pencil. Then I come back with the green. I just really love the yellow on my leaves. So you see, I don't even pay attention to the inside line. Just go with it. And the stem, I did the, the green also. Okay, and the white, I what I done, I just uh, color my flowers in the white. That simple. Well, it looked like a very much podge thing, right? So now to get the definition on that, again, we're going to use the... Um, Stampin' Magic. So what you're going to do is take the corner of the plastic to the corner of the pl plastic there. Always the corner of the plastic with the stamp set, no corner of the cardstock. That's where the problem happened. No corner of cardstock. Stamp your image. So I stamp this. Now I'm going to take my Early Espresso. We, I want to try it in Early Espresso. I'm going to take a post-it note and just put that right here so it won't move on me take your plastic that you pre-stamp match that the best that you can perfectly you don't want no shadow really you want exactly the same spot take your handle put it at the corner of your plastic so you see it's nothing to do with the cardstock it's just the plastic. Now I'm going to take my ink pad here, ink this pretty well, make sure your handle don't move, take your stamp, the corner with the corner, bring this down, give a good impression, remove this, oh beautiful, see? Now it bring all back the detail to it. So you could take, spend a lot of time coloring all the detail or just scribble and come back and stamp over it and it give you all the detail. This is the best tip I think I can give you with the stamp of a jig and detail stamp when you want to color it. Just come back with the stamp of a jig on top and voila. This is it for all the product that I use today just click above in the eye it's going to bring you to the blog post and um, you're going to have the dimension the finished product card and all the supplies list thank you so much and have a lovely day my friend bye bye for now